Hello, this is Pam Gunderson, host of Human Him Ministries Bible Study and Christian News. To be notified for the next video study or news report, simply click subscribe, then the bell, and you'll be notified. If you wish to get a better view of this video in horizontal HD on your phone, click at the top on the horizontal three buttons then look down in your phone and click on your browser. Then click the little Hello, this is Pam Gunderson, host of You and Him Ministries Bible Study and Christian Prophetic News. We are uh, reading the scriptures. Let me give you the scriptures, you the scriptures, you the scriptures for today. For today. Deuteronomy chapter 29 and 30, Psalm chapter 40 verses 1 through 5, Proverbs chapter 13 verses 9 through 10, Luke chapter 7 verses 1 through 30, for Before April 3rd, 2022. Reading, what we're finding that and it's very apropos because obviously you went to church yesterday. You either gave or you tithe. But the priests in the house of God have no inheritance. It comes back from the Old Testament. They have no inheritance like the other tribes. The Levites, their inheritance is in the Lord and what it is that we give them. If they're ministering in the house of the Lord, they are to get something from us as meat in that storehouse. In other words, food, provision, housing. It was set up that way back in the Old Testament. And if you will notice, we get a lot of uh, pastors that are uh, laughed at. They're, oh, you're, you're, you're making money off of, oh. No, it is their provision. And it's up to the Lord how much provision they get, depending on how large a ministry he gives them. Uh, the stewardship of what they're doing. And so it makes perfect sense. So I don't need to hear about, oh, the tithe is Old Testament. Yes, it's the foundation for tithing and for giving today. And when Jesus was in the world, he gave uh, the same instruction in, I believe it was Luke. Um, I'm not going to pull, but I'm pretty sure it is Luke six or something like that uh given it shall be given back to you shaken pressed down pouring pouring over okay same principle different words to a different audience the audience is different than the modern audience today we don't want to lose this and this is what the enemy wants to do he wants us to lose the blessing you cannot when I hear, and our pastors made the same statement, I can't afford to tithe. You can't afford not to tithe. You will lose your blessing. I purchased something. And Union Ministries does not make any money. I am provided by the Lord 100% totally. And I like it that way. However, I purchased something, and I wasn't really sure whether the Lord, you know, it, it, it's a necessary item, but maybe I got something nicer than maybe I should have gotten. But it is necessary because of the thing that I had is just broken down and not useless. And it's useless. It's not good anymore. It doesn't provide. And so <laughs> the thought came to me yesterday, and it was, oh, well, you know. Your payments are going to be higher. And instead of you tithing, now you can go ahead and change that and lessen it or just not do it anymore. Now, does the enemy really think I'm that stupid that I would think that if I didn't tithe, that would make doggone sure that I couldn't have what it was I purchased, that I made a mistake? So, no. I'll tithe, I'll give, 
and I'll let the Lord bless me with what he wants to bless me with. If he doesn't want me to have the item or that I bought something too expensive, it's up to him to let me know. And he will do it in ways that will speak to me. But I'm not going to not tithe. It's something that I have been in and out of for years. And I can assure you, you cannot afford with as a born again. Okay, let's go into prayer as we do. If you are not saved, I wish to introduce you to a prayer of repentance. It is called the sinner's prayer. And the sinner's prayer with a sincere heart will help you. Let me get rid of this. Will help you. Receive the Lord as your Savior. We want you to be saved. And if you'll repeat this after me, first of all, you need to admit, A, that you sinned, B, that you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and C, confess him as Savior. Say this prayer out loud with me if you wish Jesus to come into your heart and be your Savior and that you will follow him. Heavenly Father, I admit that I have sinned. I repent. I believe in my heart you raised Jesus from the dead. I confess with my heart you raised Jesus from the dead. I confess with my heart Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Right now, I receive forgiveness by the blood of Jesus. I am saved in Jesus' name. And if you prayed that prayer in the comments section, write I did. Then go to youandhimministries.com and tell us in the email or chat section at the bottom of the website you got saved. And we will send you a Bible and any other help we have available. You will not go on anyone's mailing list. Also call in and let us find a Bible-believing church so you can learn about a relationship with Jesus. We just want to see you make heaven and also on that site you can put your prayer uh, just uh, put in the prayer that you are asking people to pray for, and I can um, bring it up uh, usually uh, with other people that I'm meeting with on a weekly basis. And you will have people backing you up in prayer. There was something else that was crossing my mind. <clears throat> oh, yes. When you're looking at this video, you'll see a little upside down carrot. And in order to get into youandhimministries.com, if you click on that carrot, it'll open up and you'll see in blue, youandhimministries.com. If you click on that, it'll take you right into the site. Okay, and all of the other videos that are up on YouTube and the ones that are being put on the site on, uh, should be a daily basis, but I get behind. <laughs> and before we uh, close up, we always do the benediction. It is a habit now, which uh, one of the girls introduced, and I really do like it. It's Jude 1, verses 24 through 25. And if you have it memorized, say it with me. If you don't, just accept the benediction. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority be all, for all time, now and forever. Amen. Uh, you will see uh, my credentials and website and information rolling at the end of this video. And uh, also, you will see it... Um, uh, during right uh, during after we got through praying and i am pam gunderson host of you and him ministries bible study and christian prophetic news uh my email address is pam at you uh, in him dot info or pam at you and him ministries dot com my telephone number is 833-726-8255 or 833-PAM-TALKS our mailing address is 1018 Wish cost East Wishcost Street, Suite 213, Aberdeen, Washington, 98520. Uh, You'll see the end yes. of this video. And I wish you a very pleasant day. I will see you again tomorrow. <clears throat> I may not be uh, reading the scriptures, or you may see 
uh, I may plot it out so that you see me the way I am right now. But if you go into uh, go in a little bit, you will see that I am reading, uh, filling that in for you. But you may see the front and the back of the video exactly the same. I'm trying to save time and still be um, a good steward of what we're doing, which is reading the Bible in full in a year. Anyway, God bless you. And you have a very blessed uh, day. I hope that you had a blessed Sunday and that you do go to church. And remember the tithe. You don't want to miss the blessing of the Lord, and you want to bring uh, the meat into the storehouse. We've just read that the priests have no inheritance but what it is we give, okay? If they're truly a priest, that's their inheritance, what we give. All right? God bless you, and you have a blessed day.